Okay, welcome back. This is All Natural Gym. The workout for today is going to be Red Oak. Everybody works out their pine and have that nice pine belly, and then you work out your walnut and you have the big walnuts. <laughs> but everybody skipped Red Oak Day, so today we're going to work out our Red Oak. Um, I've been saving these pieces. These are they're not the cap cut, but they're the cut right under the cap cut. So right under the cap cut, I take a 7 8 inch piece. And um, it's live edge. All the ones on front are live edge. All the ones in the back are maybe not live edge. Some of them are and some of them aren't. And there's going to be some, there's going to be some holes in it. There's going to be some places I can already see where um, I don't have exactly covered up. And some light's going to get through and maybe even a little wind. But this is my version of, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Reverse board and bat. Live edge, reverse board and bat. Something. So normally in board and bat, you take up, take the big boards on the back and you put them together in a straight line and you're trying for all these straight lines. And then you take a two and a half inch piece and you layer that over the cracks of the initial boards. And that's called board and bat. With this, I don't care what this backboard is. I don't care if this backboard is live edge or if it's got a one straight edge or if it's got big holes in the side, and I don't care. And then I put the live edge cap cuts on the top of that, and it covers any gaps in there. Like this one, this one just barely held together. Right here, hope you can see that. But this is this is almost all bark right here. Even. But I had no gap here in these boards. A big gap up there and a big gap down there. So you just find the right live edge board that you cut off your cap cut off your red oak and slap it up there. It's, they're not straight, they're not, they're not, leveled they're not anything i just put them up there they're crooked they're crooked um that one doesn't go all the way to the bottom this one's you know got a big knob in it it that one's got a big hole in it it doesn't matter some of them are good like these you know some of the cap cuts are going to be nice and big like that i mean that's a that's a 16 inch you know cap cut off off there um but that board is going to uh cut because it came off the the uh, log and so uh, off the top of the log so it's it's hard to sell those you can get it straight and you can kill them dry and you can make it lay down you can also put it up for reverse board and bat so we're just going to go out and cut some more of this for today i didn't get the barn i didn't even get one side of it finished i'll show you so i didn't even get one side of it let me show you them just all the defects in here first look at that you know that hole that knot's probably gonna fall out There'll probably be a hole behind there and this one here you can see right up through there. You know what I mean? When that bark falls off, there's going to be a big gap in there. That's almost all bark right there. That, but I don't need that. The gap behind here is closed together, but there's a big opening up there and there's a big opening down there. So it's big at the bottom and skinny in the middle. This one has a big <laughs> protruding knot. And see, and this is how they, the, the initial layer goes up right here. You know, And then I'll just cover that with another cap cut, put it right over that, and go. These are the ones, these are ones that are all, there's a big gap there. You know, so I'll need a big piece there. And this one's all cracked on the center, you see that big crack? But it's hard to do anything with those pieces that are, just would normally be trash. And then you got all the stains on it. But those stains will come out in time. Just take a little time and a little weather and a little rain and a little sun. And those, these are not, those are not um, sticker stain. That's just where the sticker was laying and the sun and moisture didn't get to it. All this will look the same next year, or six months from now, all that will look just the same. I mean, look at this piece, has no sticker stains on it already, because it's been um, weathered. And once these get all weathered, they'll all look gray like that, and you'll never see any where the stickers were. But that's just my version, and then I might put something along the top up there. I don't know yet. I don't know what's going to go up there yet. I might just put a big board up there. I'll close that in. But reverse board and bat, Davidson's all natural gym. Give it a try. So right around the corner here. Oh, look how straight that wall is. You see how straight that wall is? <laughs> see, it doesn't... That's just it. It's just slapped up. I put the post in the ground, and boom, we're going. And I'm going to put some... I may have to put a board up there along that. I haven't decided yet. And so I need to cut the rest of this side. I only have a few pieces on that stack over there left. I need to cut the rest of this side, and I need to cut this whole side right here, this whole north side today and some of those are gonna have to be longer than 11 foot um 
these are all 10 and those are going to have to be uh, 12 and maybe a 13 flutter in there but we'll find something <laughs>